I cannot allow my children to sleep in another person's house because it's very, very dangerous. This nowadays, now all these men, they are doing a lot of violence to our girls this time around. That is why I cannot allow my children to sleep over. Even my family's place. Okay, um, my opinion is that I would only let them sleep at their friend's place if I um, trust the parents and I trust the friends. But notwithstanding, I will still have my eyes on them, like trying to call, reach out to them and know how they are doing. You understand? You can never trust anybody. It actually depends on the gender of, of the children. If it's a male, I can allow. Then also depends on the family of that, that is friend. So if it's from a good, uh, you know, family with good repetition, I can always allow my children to sleep in the friend's place. Girls, they are very vulnerable. So I have to, as much as possible, as a father, to protect her. So I can't even allow her to sleep in even some relatives' house, let alone friend's house. Eh? My friend? Ah. <laughs> I rejected in Jesus' name. I no die now. My husband no die. So my mommy no die. I can't allow it because the I can't guarantee the security. Leave them alone to go out. Anything can happen there. So they are children. So they don't they cannot know it all. So anything can happen. So you know children of these days, a lot of things are coming in. So a lot of innovations, they can try new things there. And those new things can be a kind of a adverse effect on their life. So I can't allow it. Well, interesting development there. Can you allow your teenage child sleep over or stay, uh, spend the night in a friend's home? Um, Olamide. I know you were going to pass that question to me. For me, a female child in a friend's place it depends on the level of trust mm. that you have on that person. So when you are bothered about um, having uh, your child, whether female or, or male, uh, in a friend's house. What about parents that have their children in boarding houses, parents that send their children alone out of the country, parents that also, you know, probably do not... Can we narrow it down now to... ...live with the children? So what I'm trying to say okay. is that uh, the friend's house is not only the risk, it's not the only risk factor that you have here. Mm -hmm. And even if you are very careful uh, in some situations, you may not be able to control it. We can only do our best as parents. But... Um, uh, well, it also depends on the level of trust, uh, like, like, like you mentioned. Uh, for me, I, I think, well, that's possible as long as I have you know, a level of trust and then you also confide in your child. Level, of, level of trust yes. and um, definitely you need, you know, you parenting is, a, it, as someone said, parenting is not a child's play. Mm. Uh, you need to do a lot of work, hard work to ensure that you're not your, just children to become great in life. And so it's not necessarily about, you know, sleeping over and that. We, we have to go now. It's been an interesting show this morning, uh, having uh, the politics side, um, the entertainment and sports. Mm, and sports. Uh, it was also good hearing <laughs> from uh, the senator, the yeah. ABC, you know, uh, publicity. Are you, are you, no, 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 that's the national secretary. The of national the secretary, I beg your pardon. All right, we draw the curtain now. This is how we call it a day.